I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. We have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. is a heavenly language, is a heavenly language, hallelujah. is a heavenly language, is a heavenly language. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly hallelujah. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly hallelujah. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. We have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. We have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Hallelujah is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly hallelujah. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly hallelujah. Is a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. Greetings, everybody. Welcome once again. It's your favorite program, a chapter a day, aka a card for short. On here, we get to know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do, so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view. That's the whole idea. And of course, we also get to study the Word of God and create an audio Bible in the process. Yes, we started the word of God because we want the word of God to become a practical reality in our lives. Like we really, really want to live the word of God. It should not be like some alienated thing to us, like some far-fetched thing. It should be something that we see it in our daily lives. So when you study the word of God, you can relate to it so much so that everything you do connects to the word, right? That's exactly what we do here on a chapter a day. Heaven in view. That's the whole idea for us. We want to do this and get to heaven. We want to spend the life that we're spending here on earth the Christ's way and then end up spending eternity with God in heaven. So today we'll get on with Psalm 44 and it has 26 verses. Psalm 44 has 26 verses. And then when we are done with handing over the session to God, we do the birthday party. After the birthday party, we do the Bible party. I'm excited because I have a very, very great and special friend who was born today. So let's go. Let's pray and hand over the session to God. Father, we thank you for this day. You may rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for another great session that we know we're going to experience today. We know that your power, your presence is going to be totally and completely felt here. Lord, we decrease so you increase. So it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced. Let your Shekinah glory come down, O oh God, and fill your people. Let it bring transformation, deliverance, salvation. Let it bring protection, guidance, enlightenment, and every good thing that is needed for your people to move forward or to move to their next levels. Lord, we trust you as a faithful God and a God who never sleeps nor slumber. Thank you for hearing and answering us now and forever, Mom, for in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving. And all the people shall say a ginormous amen. So let's get the birthday party started. The first person is Mr. Ginny Ginny. Mr. Ginny Ginny, I got to know him on Facebook. Uh, we became very good friends. And then we connected later on on WhatsApp and we got talking. And he's one of those persons who gets to encourage me on the things I do. It's like, 
Don't give up. Don't back out. It might not look like it right now, but trust me, God is going to do things big. Of course, he was saying that when I used to have just like one person be here with me. Like now we have a lot of people. We even have people requesting to come live. We have people like Minister Mark who show up here almost every other day. We, we have had um, Prophet A.B. Mongo, my international village uncle. We've had Mr. Day Donald. We've had um, um, Pastor Zion Zion. We've had, we've had a couple of people come on here, Mam Tipa Melvis. I mean, a lot and lot and lots of people come on here to bless us, to minister to us in one way or the other. Pastor John Light, I couldn't forget that as well. And so you could be the next person to come on here and bless us, you know. So thank you so much, Mr. Ginny Ginny, for being a blessing to me. And then the next person is Mr. Tio. Mr. Tio, I also got to know him on Facebook. I uh, became friends. We got talking. And he's also one of those people who encourages me to do the stuff I do. The next person is Mr. Brendan. Mr. Brendan, I got to know him on Whole Life Foundation. This is a group where I joined and it's, it's made up of youth, young people. And the CEO and founder as well is one of my very good friends. We connected and when we did, she decided to choose a couple of people to go on with a vision, to run with a vision. And when she explained it to us, we loved it. And we joined with her and we're doing this stuff. So Mr. Brendan was one of the people as well who joined with her to make this work, to make this get to the place where he got. First, he actually ministered to us. He, he did one of the trainings, one of the sessions some time ago. And I don't know if I was the one who was hosting him that day. You know, if I was the one who was assisting him as the host that day or some other person, but we all as admin had to get to him. It's a very welcoming person, very down to earth very self-spoken. I was really, 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 um, I was really, really excited. I was really excited about, um, the whole thing. And he's one person who loves God. He loves God with a passion. That's one thing you all know me, right? When I get to connect with people who love God, that is like the highlight of every friendship relationship that I get to make when you love God. Oh yeah. You are like steps ahead. Okay, the next person is Mr. Kingsley Kimbeng. Mr. Kingsley Kimbeng, we actually had met, but I really couldn't remember until he explained it to me. You know, like, we grew up, we kind of grew up together, but I think because it had been a long time that we're not seen or we've not met each other, I really couldn't make him out up until I got to see his picture. Thanks to social media as well. We got connected on Facebook. And he also encourages me. He was like, oh, you do this. This is really good. Congratulations. Keep doing your good work and all that. Thank you so much, Mr. Kimbeng. And God bless you. The last but not the least, and one of the most important persons today that is like really, really important to me is my Zazi Enchilada. <laughs> the word bank himself. I mean, like that is in the person of Mr. Tosin Ayo. Mr. Tosin Ayo is one great, great, great human being. Of course, I got to know him on Facebook as well. And after knowing him on Facebook, I eventually went and saw him. And of course, my little model, his first daughter, is like my goddaughter. And she is so pretty and so smart, you know, like that. And when I visited them, actually, they took me to places, really nice places and all that. I was really grateful. Mr. Tosin Ayo is also one of those persons that encourages you to be your best and he pushes you in any way that he can. Several times, I think he wrote some of my, um, he stood as my coach several times and I got the application for the schools. Like I was applying for some schools. I was applying for some, um, things, some admissions to get some things. He stood as my coach and he gave a really good word on me for me and I got the admissions for the places. I'm so, so grateful. And when I went there, of course, you come like you're coming for Mugwo, right? You go for Mugwo, you're the one who's supposed to be doing stuff like taking care of the baby. And, hmm. I went to, it was me that they were pampering him. As in, him and his wife, eh? They, they just wanted to spoil me, Scatter. As in, I, no, 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 don't, oh, it's not like that. In our culture, care. Culture, care. Like, when you go for Mugwo, you're not the one doing the work. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. I had a really great time there. Mr. Tosin Ayo is actually a barrister. Like, I have all these barrister friends, like, you know, like that. <laughs> but I'm not doing anything foolish. So you guys should not be worried. 
He's also a barrister. He's a lecturer. He's a professor. He's a... Um, what else? He's so many things. And he's very good at what he does. That's one thing about him. And he writes like... I mean, like, he writes perfectly. Oh, my God. This guy can put words on paper and you would you would see exactly what he's talking about. You know, it's not a kind of thing that you're still trying to figure out what he's saying. No. It's straightforward and so clear. It's so succinct. So I mean, it's impeccable. He's a writer to the core. Oh, my God. Ah. Anyways, that's the one thing that I know that that one had me. It had me go jump to write. <laughs> I don't know how that one is working, but... I, I guess if I put my mind to it, I'll be able to try it or something because I have a lot of these amazing people around me who get to write. So maybe they'll really put me through. But I guess I've just not put my mind to it. I guess so. Maybe I should just leave myself with talking. Let me just be doing talking. When I need the writing services, I'll find somebody who is good at it. Well, God, as in, Baba, you understand, Sha. <laughs> So happy birthday to you, the World Bank, Mr. Tosin Ayo, the father, a great husband, a great father, and a great friend too. He is the father of my baby model and goddaughter, similarly. Okay, so let's go again. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Jeannie Jeannie. Happy birthday to Mr. Chio. Happy birthday to Mr. Brendan. Happy birthday to Mr. Kingsley Kimbang. And a very special happy birthday to my Zazi and Shalada. <laughs> Mr. Tosin Ayo, a.k.a. the World Bank himself. So let's get to pray for all these birthday people who are born today. Not just this ones I've called here, but every single person who is born today. We're going to pray out for all of you and then... We're going to get on with the Bible party. Like I said today, our Bible party is from Psalm 44 and it has 26 verses. Are you all good? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go. Father, we thank you for adding a new year to the lives of all these people who were born today. We pray that you cause them to be trailblazers, pace setters, and wall changers. Give them all that it takes to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Father, I pray you cause them to increase in wisdom and stature, gaining favor before God and before men. Let their gifts make a way for them, causing them to shine before, causing them to stand before kings, not before me, men. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that whatever the lady hands on you prosper, wherever the tread their feet upon you, give it to them as a possession. It's your word. We claim it. We know that you're going to make it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, teach their hands to prosper. Teach their hands to make wealth. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to guide them and lead them in the right part. Lord, enlighten their eyes and their understanding so they see and know those they're supposed to be destined to help us to. So they'll strategically position themselves to help these people when the time is right. In the same light, Lord, strategically position their own destiny helpers all around them. So when they also cry out for help, help is going to be made available to them instant. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you perfect all that concerns them. Give them a Psalms 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, and rejoicing. And if you tarry to come, they'll be here sometime next year, live on the show, testifying of your awesome sustenance in their lives, O oh God, because this is going to be their best birthday yet. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best and divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate. Lord, teach them how all that it takes to get to the top, but not only just getting there, but getting there and staying there permanently. You're the master strategist, so believe all the techniques that you get to give to your people because we know they're definitely going to work. Father, I pray that all your promises in their lives will be here and amen. That no of your word always goes out and comes back void. So whatever you've spoken concerning them, O Lord, will come to pass. Let your path keep shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Lord, I pray, O God, that your word is going to be a lamb unto their feet and a light to their part. Lord, that you're going to help them to get to the levels where you want them to. Even as they're fulfilling purpose and solving the problems that they were created as a solution to, O God, if they get to a place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to give up or back out, I pray, O oh God, that they're going to hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way walk that we need. They will not derail. They will not stray the part. They will not get it wrong. They will get it right all the way to the glory of your name. Lord, use them as a people that will be manifesting to the groaning nation that is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Let them manifest in grand style. Let them manifest in a big way. 
Lord, we just bless your holy name because we know that you are faithful, Father. We just bless your holy name because we know you are the King of kings. We just bless your holy name because we know you are the Lord of lords. Lord, do for these ones way beyond they can, what they can ask, think, or imagine. Father, let your word be made a practical reality in their lives. Cause them to stand out always because if everybody is fulfilling the purpose for which they were sent here on earth, they'll definitely stand out and not fit in. Lord, I pray that you write beautiful stories on the pages of your lives, even as you open it today, O oh God. Give them reasons to sing. Give them reasons to smile. Give them reasons to dance. Give them reasons to rejoice. Give them reasons to sing unto you a joyful song for the rest of their days. Thank you, Lord God, because we know you always hear an answer. Lord, let money meet money in their pockets. Blessings meet blessings in their lives. Favor meet favor in their lives. Even as you clothe them with the garment of praise, honor and favor in Jesus' name. We seal every prayer request with the blood of Jesus. Knowing that, Lord, you will do way beyond what we ask, imagine or think. Thank you for hearing us once again. We say thank you for answering every single supplication we've put before your throne of grace today. For in Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints shall say, Dynamus, Amen. But this baby girl right here, she likes to do things differently. So she's going to sing the Amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in the last of the prayers. Amen, 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 amen. With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In their lives as we pray. Let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. God bless you all tremendously. May you fill your band to all good things and enlarge your coast. May it give you way beyond what you are expecting. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Happy birthday. Have a blast, people. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get right on. It's switch time. It's Bible party time. It's Bible party time. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> A dynamous amen. Amen, Minister Mark. <laughs> yeah, people have gotten so used to this. Like they can just say, they can literally say exactly what I'm going to say when I'm saying it and how I say it. <laughs> Ah, oh yes. Yes, may the good Lord fill you all and bless you tremendously. So let's get the Bible party started. We're ready. We're born ready. Psalm 44. To the chief musician for the sons of Korah, Mashtil. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us, what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thine hand, and planted them, how thou didst afflict the people, and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, and thine arm, and the light of thy countenance, because... Thou hadst a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O God. Command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we thread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever, Selah. But thou hast cast off and put, and put us to shame and goest not forth with our armies. Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat and hast scattered us among the heathen. Thou sellest thy people for naught, 
and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword amongst the heathen, a shaking of the land, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face had covered me. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and adventure. All this is come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee, neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined from thy way. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death, if we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to a strange God, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, for thy sake are we killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and forgettest our affliction and our oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help, and redeem us for thy mercy's sakes. This is the word of the Lord, and all the saints, every single one, shall say a big be to God. Thank be to God. Okay. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? What is my welcome, welcome, welcome. What am I? Why did I choose audio? Please say it again. Oh, I, I, was I, was quick to, to I was quick to press something. I don't know what I pressed. Now I'm not seeing my face. I you press go. audio, eh? <laughs> Let me send it again. Let me do it again. So it's it's refreshing. Welcome, Discover Africa channel. Thank you for coming and God bless you. We hope that you can also partake and participate on the program. So you can send a request to come live. You can actually just participate in the comment section. We'll be delighted. I'm very excited to have you on a chapter a day we welcome every single person and every single contribution we don't take it for granted god can use just about anybody to speak to us and we don't downplay anybody's opportunities or anybody's contribution that they bring to the program a chapter a day so welcome once again mr mark we can see your face today your beautiful face thank you for always coming <laughs> we thank god for making it possible right as oh, he yeah. said yesterday, he grants the desires of your heart, and uh, it's a desire of mine. Because to be very honest with you, I'm studying. There's a lot of things I've not read before. I did not grow I me know, up in the church, man. you know, so I cannot start saying that. No, I did not. I did not I get know. born again at five or ten or fifteen. So I'm really, I really, really, I mean, you know, there's a time when you get to know God without really knowing His Word. Yeah, it's a process. Yeah. It's a process. And then yes. not, not that. We, it's a lot of we discover it and then you start to study it. And I was telling you one day that Bible study in the churches, in a few churches where I went to, it's not the kind of Bible study that Bible. me I was looking forward to. Yeah, yeah. So there's only one church that I went to, Eden Life and Love Ministries in Bonamusadi. That Bible study is Bible study. You, read, Bible study. you answer questions. You go to another place and stuff like that, but in some other church, the other ones I went to, no, the person, not, the pastor, mama, pastor, they just preach. It's still preaching. It's still Sunday preaching. Yeah. It's not like teaching and people have to understand and people have to get to know, you know, want to hear from you, whether you understood what we taught you. My father used to say that thing a lot. I want to know whether I'm just talking to myself or you guys are really getting me and you're understanding what I'm saying. And he will ask you questions. He'll be like, ask questions. If nobody's asking questions, I say, okay, so let me ask you my own question to make sure that you really understood what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, he used to do that. And sometimes he'll really ask questions. I'll get to ask question. Can you imagine? Nobody yeah. ever gave us any opportunity to ask questions. Oh, my. He will give you opportunities to ask questions. If you don't ask, he will ask you. Wow. 
And you would have to oh. answer that. Because if he says that, did you understand? You know how the chorus are always gonna, yes, mm -hmm. we did. Yeah, because we just want to close church. No, mm -hmm. that's not the idea. But mm -hmm. the good thing about him was that he was a very time conscious person. If he says we're starting church at six and we're finishing at seven, we'll start church at six. We are closing at seven. It's not that we're doing closing prayer at seven. No, we are closing church at seven. That's how time conscious my father. In fact, yeah, my father and a white man is a black man's skin, honestly speaking. Like he's the one who made me to be a very time conscious person. So yeah, yeah he made us to study the word of god like that at first it was it was annoying because that's not how we grew up that's not the way we grew up you know so it felt like why are you punishing us but we finally realized that, that it was the best thing that he ever did to us i envy you people low. that's why i study a lot because i didn't grow up i didn't grow up with all of that i didn't get that kind of support no 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 oh it's, my it's, it's really been my journey on. it's been my journey with god it's not like anybody in my family held my hand I anybody see. showed I me any that strong head that strong head take me come out from the fold yes that strong head i so know they instead, they instead shun you because you are leaving the fold like leaving the Catholic church strong head so it's not like yeah. going to encounter jesus which jesus is jesus not here so I yeah, have those are the things that we always hear. Is Jesus not where you were? Why are mm. you coming out from there? Like mm. you guys cannot get it. Mm. When you get the experience, you will know. Nobody will tell you to move from those places. You 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 will know. You will know. You will know that you have to be fed now. Ah. Mm -hmm. You will see correct your go follow your way, no correct. Because this Bible study that we are even saying that if they don't do it well in so in that other thing, the call do they even do Bible study there? <laughs> just go on sunday after sunday you go home that's all till next sunday I whatever know, you do, the right? newsletter is your problem how can you cultivate a relationship is, how would you even well, know we, about we really how, the word how would you know about what the the, the psalmist is saying here that uh, we heard with our ears our fathers have told us which ears when they're running 40 minutes 45 minutes one hour church is finished one hour 30 minutes how do they have time to tell you that telling you about church projects that telling you about this telling oh, yeah. you about that mm, not really about this is god you know and it's extra mm. it is well with us and that's mm. why when when you've had a personal relationship with god and encounter you have this hunger you want to know god more says mm -hmm. the, the 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 songwriter says the more i know you the more i want to know you mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. when you skip one when you've had that encounter and you want to know him more and you're in a place where they're not giving you more you would have the tendency of wanting to go in, elsewhere like you mm -hmm. want to find a place where they can give you more you know like that that was my case so that was how it happened to me uh, because when i gave my life to christ i did not auto i did not automatically move on. no mm -hmm. i was still going to the place but it, it was just like when i go to that place i don't feel like i'm taking anything then when i come back i feel like sometimes i even got to a point where i was feeling drained when i go to where i was before i feel like i felt i was feeling drained then when i come back now maybe for bible studies and prayer meetings i get empowered again i get revived again then i go me now for sunday church ah and then i said what's oh, not wipe like you know i started coming out one one time I'll leave this Sunday, skip this Sunday, and come the other Sunday to this one. Skip and skip and skip. And finally, I just said, Princess, you know what you're looking for. And you know where it is. You better just behave yourself. <laughs> and I just sat on one place. See, me, if you are in a place where it's a Bible-believing church, and they're preaching the word of God, and you're growing, by all means, stay there, child of God. But if you're in a place that are not preaching the word of God, you're not growing, they're not feeding you, by all means, run, it is mm -hmm. for your good. It doesn't matter how long you've been there because people start saying these things like, oh, I've been there for since I was born. That's where I grew up. Now, now family church. Not be family church, but take you go heaven. It's accepting you as a personal Lord and Savior. <laughs> it's not getting twisted though. So this whole family church scenario and that's where I grew up in and all those things. Uno go take my emotion enter heaven. Now accepting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and keeping that relationship intact till He comes. If He comes, if the trumpet sounds, uh-huh. Or if you die before, 
now with judgment for did you accept my son as your personal lord and savior you're not gonna be now which denomination in the fellowship deal ha because even some of these denominations there are people there in those denominations that are born again quite all right there are some people that they, they don't even know god <laughs> they feel that they know god but they don't know god at all so yeah better not be one of those persons who feels that you know god when you do <laughs> that's how apostle paul was serving now he was killing christians and doing things thinking he was serving god that's what he thought he was he was honest but sincerely wrong he was sincere but sincerely wrong until he had an encounter with God. So when you have an encounter with God, you will know the difference. You will know the difference. And That's you know, why we'll be talking here boldly and confidently. I'm somebody who think that, what are these people saying? We're saying what we've experienced. So we know it's real. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, you want to you know, say something? Yeah, no, no. Today, just as I was dressing up to go out, you know, I packed my bag to go to the village on Friday. Oh, yeah. Because me, I'm yeah. that kind of person who can pack one week before. God saved me, oh, I used to pack that. weeks before. I so I, I went into the parlor with my shoes to wear my shoes. So something said, go back to the room. I was like, no, wow. Come and wear shoes in the room. Because me, I don't usually wear my shoes in the room because the carpet, sometimes at night, I yeah. pray there, I sleep yeah. and everything. So I just I just came back to the room with my shoes. I said, whatever is in the room, I don't know. So I sat on my chair now. As I was, I just bent down to lace my shoes. You know, that man there just said, look here. Prepare for heaven like you prepare to go on a journey. Oh, my. Whoa. and i just packed, i saw my back my back was in front of the chair I so know. it is directly related to that and That's you know me when i travel it. princess i'm also that kind of person who likes to put everything that i will need you know and make sure everything That's is clean tidy iron folded so if you prepare for heaven like that will you not make it you make it mm. you make it mm. okay you cannot be missing if you prepare mm. meticulously like mm. that See God, eh? That's that's what I always say. That on a chapter a day, that's what we expect. Like when we get these real things happening to us, because that's how God speaks to me. Oh. I remember sometimes He wanted to give me a message. I make peanut butter, right? He wanted to give me a message about um, writing off some people. We write off some people just based on how they look, based what on what somebody has told us about them, and I was really really shocked because. Normally, when you want to when you want to do peanut butter, you have to select the groundnuts and make sure that the groundnuts are whole. Like it has to be whole, so that when you roll it, it doesn't get into issues. You know that kind of thing. So I was looking at this groundnut. It was whole, but the the back part was out. So I'm like, if that back part is out and I roll this thing, it's going to break. And the Holy Spirit says, says who? You've already written off that ground that is going to break just because the pill is not there. Who told you that without the pill, it cannot still work? I was, I was taken aback because the whole idea is to remove ground nuts that are not whole. That ground nut is whole. And the, the intention was not to remove ground nuts that were not having pill. It was to remove ground nuts that were not whole. So how did I now reach the level now I want to remove this one? For something that he's not guilty of, because of some other thing. Like, would you want to be written off like that by some other person in life because of something that you're really not guilty of, or something that should not be part of the categories to qualify you for something? Would you want that? Hi, that's so a shame. That's so why I leave Grano in Sabo just a roll quiet, quiet. I see. Papa God, I'm really sorry. That's how God does. He uses just the things around you to teach you some lessons so that you get the lessons right. God doesn't just want you to get confused. He doesn't just want you to come and be, you know, like, no, he's not a God of confusion. When he's giving you a message, he wants you to understand the message. Who will not understand that kind of message that God just gave you? Mm -hmm. That prepare, just like you are prepared perfectly like this, prepare like that for heaven. Who will not go understand that message? Even a lady person like who understand the message because it's so practical me and the one making people on that i have the rules and regulation this one i have to use this one i have to use this one mix this one and this one he he's using that one to teach me who will not understand like it's it's just so clear 
that's how god wants us to study the word as well because even in his word these are the things that he shows us he shows us these things and he gives us the practical reality of those things is it not the word of god that we're always reading here and then we're bringing these stories of what god has done for us like when people are doing evil against you when people are planning evil against you it's what is happening in our daily lives but now how did uh, um david also went through those things how did he resolve his own he was going up about praising God, he will go back to the altar, he will go back to God. But if you have not studied the word, you will not know. You will just be there, you will be anxious, you will be angry, you will be agitated, you will be irritated, and it will not solve the problem. Mm -mm. Nobody has ever not. rumbled problems away. Mm -mm. Nobody has mm -mm. ever been anxious and then the problems just disappear because you were anxious. No. You have to use the right methods to get the solutions. And those are the things that David gives us here. And this is sounds that he's always giving us every single time. Before we so continue, guy, princess, let me just let me just add this one thing. Oh yeah. Um, I told it. I just told the client today that their first tool has to be God and the Word of God, because oh, yeah. I myself that's my first tool. So mm -hmm. if you are counting on me to offer you tools that will help you get out of your impasse, your the anxiety, the introversion, and all of those things, me like that though. Before I show up, let me be honest with you. That's my first tool. So go yes, through to that yeah. first tool so that before you even come to me, sometimes your eyes will even be open because it's a spirit that keeps on that wisdom and understanding. Me like that, that's why I go and get my own. You know, some people will, be, they will not tell you where they go and get their powers or oh, their yeah. everything. No, I just told them today. So please, tool number one, study the word of God. Pray. Go to God. Before you come to me, you might even come to me next time and you don't even give me an idea. Give me don't think that I, I'm the only person who can. Because sometimes I ask them, so what do you think you can do in this situation? Oh, yeah. like, I don't know. Whereas if you were spending time with the Spirit, with God, the Spirit if I God. have an idea, He will talk to you. Is it? Does He choose who He's talking to? Anybody who no. is disposed, no. He will. God seek chooses anybody. Him seek Him diligently and you will find Him. That's it. God chooses anybody. Let nobody deceive you. God chooses any and I mean anybody at all. If God can use an ass, who are you? What are you? Mm. Are you joking? Are you just joking? God can use anybody at any time for His glory, and He will not ask nobody's permission. No, so don't be feeling like I, like oh, it looks like I, God will come and ask permission from your mother or from your father or from your brother mm. or from your sister. And since they are backbiting you, since they don't want you to progress now, it means that God will not do the thing for you because he will ask their permission. God may ask no my permission. And princess, you know where David started to seek God diligently? In the... When he was keeping his sheep. You yeah. remember? It was from, from then. Yes. It was not only when he became king. No. Yeah, no. so he had just become used to... It was a part of him now. Mm -hmm. Seeking God was just a part of him. It's not so like now he was struggling to start seeking God because now he was a king. Mm. Yes. Mm. So the earlier you get connected to God, the better for you. The mm. the, the, the sweeter your relationship gets, you know. Even though there are also some people that the longer they've been in the faith, it looks like they don't see finish. So they start act like, I already know this thing. I'm already a pro in this thing. Like, wait till, wait till they again. Like, they don't see finish. So they are missing now on the things that are supposed to receive because they know that they over know. They don't already know enough. If they are known enough, people who have been preaching this Bible for as long as they have been preaching this Bible, they know for the preach Bible again. Because they should have already preached this Bible from start to end. Some people have preached the word of God for 60 years. Some have preached for 40 years. So if it was a matter of see finish, eh? These people should not be using the Bible again. They would not finish preach the whole Bible, then John Lever. But you see, Every single day, God gives a revelation. I remember the time, the first time when I read John 3, 16. Like, when I was in Sunday school and when I was younger, all I knew about John 3, 16 was love. But I remember when God was teaching me about sacrifice and he used John 3, 16. Oh. Oh, yeah. He was His only. It's a sacrifice he gave. His only begotten His son only. was a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Can you sacrifice something you love? Mm -hmm. He will use John 3 16 to teach me sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But uh, all along, I'd already known John 3 16 before love. 
for God to love the world, like we used to quote it like every single time, even in our primary school where we used to go to Sunday school, John 3.16, love. When anybody just mentioned John 3.16, your mind just flips to love. But he taught me sacrifice in John 3.16. And I was in awe. And that's the reason why even these people who preach the gospel like for donkey years will still preach the gospel because today they will preach a message, they will use this particular scripture and preach something else. The Holy Spirit wants to minister to you, you and you and you in the congregation about love. They want to minister about um, actions. Actions speak louder than words. God professed his love. After he professed his love, he did action by giving his son. Not only talk love, all my feet talk love. Act the love. God acted his love. So, faith without work is dead. He wanted to save us. Yes, he has been desiring to save us. If he did not act on the desire, we will still be here. We will suffer very badly. But he acted on the love. All of that is coming from where? John 3, 16. But originally, when I started studying that thing, even up to when I was like a little bit older, it was only love. The love of God. The love of God. So yes, we keep studying the word of God every single day and every single time because God gives us another dimension, another revelation. He ministers to us in different ways with some scriptures. I said I read the Bible over and over and over like maybe two or three times. I read through the Bible. Lucky you. But I've never seen the first Kings, second Kings, the way I saw it when God was teaching me the lesson uh, when he wanted to remove that whole stupid mindset that I had that if you're older than me in the faith, if you're older than me, um, age-wise, if you're also a leader, you have a leadership position in church, anything you say is correct. Mm -hmm. I, I was as old as old as I am before I learned that. That is not true. So you can imagine. Imagine that I said, oh, because I've grown older now, I, I've already known everything, everything, everything. And then I was not listening to God or I didn't have a teachable spirit. Hmm. The one we'll chance, one chance of Santa by now. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be in a year. Because some of the things that we're a, we're, a, we're a victim of, that is happening to us, that we're getting to be victimized about, there are things that if we knew the word of God concerning those things, we would dodge that bullet. But we're getting shot because we're not studying the word of God. Mm -mm. I I told you guys that I would have done, I would have gone into fornication with the, one of those guys, those many, many guys, because he was saying that, oh, the Lord has already saved us. And once you're saved, you're forever safe. So whatever you do after that does not really count because God has already forgiven our sins of past, present, and future. It sounds, yeah. it sounds nice, yeah. right? Yeah. It sounds yeah. nice. The blood of Jesus has washed all our sins, you know, it kind of sounds like something, you know. So if I'm not seen in the Bible that all fornicators will go to hell, I will go. I would have done. Because what he said sounded nice. It sounded like something that makes sense. Of course, they said Jesus died once and for all. He's not supposed to come and die again. So, of course, if he died once and for all, it means that he has wiped away all my sins, past, present, and future now. It kind of made sense. But it's not the kind of sense that the word of God has actually said. Because you still have to keep working your salvation of fear and trembling. So that cannot be true. You still they have to, who can ascend the throne of God? The one who has holy hands. The one who has a pure heart. Like, how do you get those now if you're just living life anyhow, you know? So if you don't study the word of God, there are some bullets that will get you. But if you study it, you will dodge some bullets. Normally. Magician doesn't need to tell you. Susia doesn't need to tell you. Prophets don't need to prophesy to you. Prophet needed to prophesy to me that if I fornicate at uh, my place is in hellfire, and I for Bible I see him. I didn't need somebody to tell me. It's in the Bible now. All thieves, all gossips, all this, their places in the place of hellfire. Prophet, Prophet no was interested in telling, telling you not to, to think hell. about that. Yeah. No, Prophet was not interested in that. Prophet was interested in. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah. You know, like all those things. So. If you don't see it in the word of God, if you don't study the word of God for yourself, there are some things that you become a victim of. The enemy will do you any anyhow. Because you don't know who you are. You don't know the promises that God has made for you. You don't know your worth. You don't know your value. So you're falling for anything. You're settling for anything. Because you don't know your, you don't know your worth. But the Bible is telling us who we are. And the powers that we possess. You know. So Princess. it is very, very important. Yeah. Princess, so. 
And when the Bible talks, for example, here yeah, that what he did to our fathers, now in our age, it would be what he did to what he's doing to us, given that we oh, also yeah. have to keep, keep it current. So we are inspired by, by the word to share also what he's doing to us. After all, people overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the power okay. and the word of our testimony. So it is oh, yeah. very right for us to be sharing like this. It oh, yeah. helps. It, it, is, is, it is very yeah. important. Because people need to know that these things are not far-fetched. Like, someone will be saying that, oh, you are talking about Apostle Paul. Oh, Minister Mark is not Apostle Paul. We're in this generation. We day here. How we day here? Under the same sun, under the same rain, under the same economic um, um, terms that is happening in the world, even though our economy is not of the earth, but in of heaven. But we're in the same time. Like, you are in the same time. So you know that those things do not only happen in the old. It's also happening now. But what are the things that are making it to happen now? There are things that are like principles that happen from those days to now. So David says, praise God in your troubled times. We too, in these times, we praise God in our troubled times and we see miracles happen. We go back to the, uh, to the, to the, to the temple of God and we cry out to God and we see things happen. That's the same thing. So the principles that were then in the old is still working now as long as you use them. That's what the that's what we need to understand. We need to understand the principles behind some things. Why was this thing working for these people in this time? What were they doing? What were the techniques that they were using? Mm -hmm. And so when you use it in this our own time, it will still work. It will work. Bible says there's, there's, there's even a passage. Yes. There's even a passage that um, I heard from Apostle Joshua Sam, and I have it in my book. He was saying that when the spirit comes over you. You will do three things. You would um, you would either speak in Psalms. You would say the Psalms and speak in 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 in, 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 in tongues, or you song. speak in the Spirit, yeah. and then you will praise or you will sing hymns. Yeah. I think it's in one yeah. of those letters. Yeah. So that is why yeah. it's good to know these Psalms like this, because you know, like you said, the Lord is my shepherd. That's a very common one. I the know. Lord is my Lord. Light, the light and my light and my salvation, but salvation. some of these ones, yeah, I'm just discovering them now. To be very honest with you, I will not lie. I have not read Bible <laughs> from cover to cover. No, you. It, my sister, this is me telling you that even me who has read it from cover to cover, there are times that when God wants to give me a message that is supposed to hit me on something, that is supposed to make me do something that He wants me to do, it hits me differently. Sometimes it feels like I've never seen the scripture. I said there's this scripture that they used to say, um, it's, it, it's a scripture, but the English man has put it in a way that is like a proverb. I had never known that it was a scripture until last year wow. when we're doing a chapter wow. day, I think or so. Then the Holy Spirit brought that scripture to me. And this thing that they say, if you, if you connect with, if you are the... Yeah. If you connect uh, you with, with white people, wise. Mm. You are the, you'll be the street white person. If you connect mm -hmm. with um, um, foolish people, you'll foolish be the, people. the mm. Bible has it somewhere yeah. in Proverbs. Yeah, 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 it's true, it's there. He will walk with, with the wise, of the godly or the wise. Yes, the wise. We end up mm. in destruction, something like that. That's mm -hmm. it, the only mm -hmm. added number to it. Mm -hmm. The only added number to it. Mm -hmm. I was like, huh? Ah, the Bible is so good. So, mm. so good. That's how you see it. those things hit you like it hits you because God really wanted me. Because at some point I was like, But why, why can it not be that it's me who is influencing my friends? You only have to be the six people that he said, No, me, I'm just telling you, bad company corrupts good manners. You have to cut off. I'm like, God, you know, so me, I was trying to kind of have a conversation with him, let's have a compromise on the whole thing. And <laughs> me, I can influence my friend. He said, No, I mean, I don't think so. You go cut off like that. So you have to show me that thing. That when you connect with these people, this is what happens to you. When you connect with this one, now destruction. No. Oh yeah, carry away the going for the road for destruction. No. I don't really tell you my own. It's up to you. Ah, you know that. You said you know. Say you know what? <laughs> you know I get in trouble, God. I think. So that's how it is. The Bible is so real and it's so practical. But it's just that because we don't take our time. To study it we don't take our time to even sometimes even you just studying and asking the holy spirit that holy spirit teach me he says he's a teacher right he says i'll send you a comforter a teacher um he says your guide or something like that he gave some many many help things that the holy spirit helper, everything yeah. so many things yeah 
so many things. So imagine that you have a teacher, you have someone to teach you. Like that's how some people just grow in the faith without even having any like papa, mama, or pastor or something doing nothing for them because the Holy Spirit is teaching them. Oh yeah. Oh I know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not Apostle Joshua Sema, but I know that I have grown. Yeah. And I've just grown yeah. by direct teaching, frankly speaking, like yeah. apart from Bishop Barry who has taught me something, who else has the taught me what? He teaches. Go somewhere there. He's the one that you see there. Yeah, so these people had examples from a couple of them have examples about their their how God provided, like God's providence for their family members because of those who went through the wilderness. So we will also have that as an example. And I have my life as an example that God has provided for me in diverse mm -hmm. ways, in circumstances mm -hmm. that they're just, they're just mind-boggling. Huh. I mean, it's mind-boggling. And then you know that when, when somebody is singing and saying, you are Jared, eh? I know what I'm saying because he has been Jared to me. I'm not saying it because it's just a name that I've heard. Jehovah Jared, the Lord, my provider. No. You are Jared. You are enough. I mean, like, I know that he is Jared because he hmm. has been that to me. When I say you are Shalom, I know that he has given me peace. peace. I am experiencing it. I am living it. So I'm not saying it because I'm hearing people calling him shalom so me too i just want to be posh i want to be woke everybody say shalom i also want to say shalom everybody saying jerry i also want to say jerry no he has been that to me and many my more things that i don't even know the names my rafa like Mira. my goodness princess God, like, princess i say me and mary madeleine i took a bible personality test one time my own was that uh, mary madeleine correct <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I need to take that Bible test, personality test, though. I've never done it. I heard about it once, but I've never done it. I've never uh, um, done it. One time, but I was very happy. A few when... years after, I was Mary Madeleine. So, me like this, uh, I know. I'm coming from very far. I remember um, um, sometime when we're, when we're our, youth, our youth ministry, our youth leader told us to choose Bible, Bible, um, Bible persons, Bible personalities, and we should tell how I will want those people. And we're going to prophetically pray ourselves to like get wow. the good qualities of those people. So me, I said I was David two times. Like I was David, David. Yeah. So sometimes people see when I changed my name and put it on my status as David, David, people thought I got to marry. Huh? Huh? I, it was I, saw that, I saw David on TikTok. I was like, hmm? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's my prophetic name, oh, because <laughs> your girl is very much single. And the Lord is going to make this girl status to change soon. You guys should be on the lookout. <laughs> Fear not. The mighty uh, name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I already prophesied. I already told you now. Abby, you see, I've entered the prophecy now. The prophecy don't take enter my skin. So now I'm saying it confidently. <laughs> and I said, sharp, sharp. sharp. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Jehovah, sharp, sharp will do it. Though. Mm -hmm. I receive it, I claim it, and I hold on to it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we, we did. They, they made us, she said we should choose anybody except Jesus. Like, Jesus is a perfect example for all of us. Mm -hmm. So that's supposed to be our general role model. When it gets mm -hmm. to the point where your role model you are chosen has this limitation your role model in that scenario should be jesus so for example i chose david david i'll not go and be community immorality right i'll not go and community adultery you know so in that part of his life who do i look at jesus that's how it was and we're not just supposed to choose the role models because we just like them you know oh this one is you know like uh no 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 you choose them and you tell her why you chose that person. What about so why did that person's life? Why did you choose David? David because of his, um, 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 his attitude of always wanting to just say, Lord, I did sorry. Let me this, I don't do him again. Let me this, I don't do him again. <laughs> and leadership. So that's why I did David, David. The oh, leadership okay. and the singing part. And then the always just, Lord, I'm contrite sorry. Contrite heart. Contrite. Contrite and yeah. humble heart. Yeah. Like, wow. that was it. 
so then then you give maybe one or two of their limitations and then you say how god was different wow. in those things he had a wow. purpose he was always doing his mission and all it was really nice it was really nice one of my um sisters one of my younger sisters choose alicia wow just shortly after we did that thing eh, i mean it was like literally we were all manifesting the things that were said wow like god started using her to prophesy on the air she was getting scared she was literally getting scared about the things god was making her to say like <laughs> it was so cool it was so so cool and then i remember one time that she had to give a prophecy for me she was refusing that she doesn't want to prophesy about things that concern people especially girls and then she didn't want to come she said she didn't want to talk about is it relationships or it was work or something god used the heart to prophesy about my own ha! so when she came back so it's like when the holy spirit takes over her and she's just talking right and then when she comes back to normal now we begin to tell her the things that the holy spirit said you know because we went for one i think it was our youth retreat or it was our maybe choir retreat i, I can't remember which one it was but the one that we had our prophetic names was the youth um picnic that was just the picnic but we used to go for youth retreat youth um choir retreat and all those things so i mean she she was like huh me no it was not you it was god through you <laughs> she and i i was like, like but why so you when you when holy spirit take over you you want to choose the thing that you will tell people that and who you go talk to eh? you've not seen anything yet oh my god it was so nice i mean literally all of us were just manifesting like that our parents were surprised and everything it was really nice i miss that my youth leader so much it is well so the bible can literally become a practical thing to you yeah. if you personalize it mm -hmm. and that's also another thing that i learned while i was mm -hmm. in church while they were they were making us to really study the word of god they encouraged us that any any single scripture you read eh, find a way to connect that scripture to yourself like personalize it find right. a way to Jesus. personalize that scripture I it works you. it works so <laughs> yeah so what about though see the relationship you have with god here which one are you having again <laughs> it works. No, I'm just thinking of how you, you. I mean, you went to a church where they encourage. I know. And, I mean, yes, me. I can say the Paul way, but I mean the other way is also admirable, right? But oh, yeah, uh, I mean, in all ways, we thank true. God. We do, but we just appreciate you. I, just appreciate you. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. They they gave us really like all kinds of things, and I'm saying honestly because you know, Minister Mark, you've traveled, so you know how out of the country can mm -hmm. be sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. just so caught up. If you don't have the small Jesus, so you carry and come from a country, eh, you will just die. Mm. As you, mm. you will just be flushed out before you want make died. Jack. Before you want mm. finish, say Jack is gone. Mm. Honestly, so if they did not really put us in this place to study the word, mm -hmm. and I'm not surprised why some people just fall go abroad and then they don't just forget God, and some people make it like joke which i don't think mm -hmm. is true though that oh it's because in some of these foreign countries you already have some things that you normally do not have in in africa so you pray more i don't think so i don't think so because even in these places out of the country there are still some things that you still need but you don't still pray as much it's just because some people get caught up with so much work you want to meet up bills you want to meet up this you want to meet up that and then you find out that eh, the small jesus will be gets you don't go because you're not even building on the small that you had you don't just this now you are focused on every other thing apart from god like people literally ask you will god pay bills will church pay bills like so in africa church pays church pays bills it doesn't pay bills but you were praying you were studying the word of god you were depending on god you were relying on god i remember God they say we are correcting me about being self-sufficient because he corrected me eh? hey they come away come my head it'd be hot oh yeah you're becoming self-sufficient eh now you can do anything that you want to do you have money i go wipe the money so you go do yeah they put me in a negative you know put me in a zero you wipe the money put me for negative i'm gonna pay people it was not funny <laughs> And I'll come back and come and depend on him now. You go collect the money from him. Like, where will you get it from? You owe you. Oh. 
<laughs> to owe is to pay. That was the only difference. But you owe. Me, way me and God on the covenant for like how many years? Close to three or four years. About me not owing anybody. About me being a lender and never a borrower. You just can't work on some particular money. So I did. I not only no get money. I the owe people. Hey, but he proved himself faithful, oh. Because within that five months, I don't know how I went through. Because every single time I was just collecting my salary, was using to pay debt. Every single time I was collecting my salary, it was using to pay debt. Me, I hate debt with a passion. Hey, I hate debt with a passionate passion. That thing is like some bondage that day. Uh, so I, I don't know, but he just did something within those five months, and I was like, God, I am sorry. I will depend on you. Like whether I have or I don't have, I will still depend on you. I'll still look to you. I'll still come and ask you. I'll still say, Papa, should I do this one? Should I not do this one? Because uh, mm. it's like sometimes when small money enter our hands, so oh, did you plan hey, all things? Hey, I, want to, I want to. I want to. Please say. <laughs> Have you forgotten I was punished for three days not to open my mouth to talk to anybody because I gave somebody too much money? I know. Oh, God. No. <laughs> what to be kinder than God? I think it's like, we're too nice. We want to be nicer than God. God knows these people and he knows how to lead us. He knows how to guide us. So we have to learn. These people learn from their forefathers what God did to them, and they now started following the principles. They're following the principles of the things that their forefathers did, so God provided for them. So it's the same thing. We have to follow the principles in this our generation that these people did and their forefathers did, and it will work for us as well. It will work for us as well. It says, um, there are some things that is God who does it, it's not you. It says how God God drove out the hidden from the land. It was not their swords. It was not their machinations and all those things that drove those people from the land. It was God. It was, it was God. And that's why God commended um, Joshua and Caleb now. Twelve people went to go and spy the land. Ten people can't say, eh. You see, we so Well, like grasshoppers in their eyes. <laughs> that's how some of us see ourselves so, in front of our enemies, in front of people. But we say we're children of God, created in God's image and his likeness. But we're looking at other people and seeing ourselves like grasshoppers. May God forgive us. Amen. May God help us. Amen. Like, Amen. no. We have to see ourselves the way God sees us. Joint hairs with Christ. We're I'm kings a child kings. of God. Yeah. You're God's favorite baby girl. You're God's favorite boy. You, I mean, you're a man after God's heart. You're a woman after God's heart. Come on now. You cannot be a grasshopper. It says the people are the kind of people that eat eat the inhabitants of the land. But when I meet an inhabitant of the land, but there are people that eat. So they never finish the one of the land. Why is now go, they go chop up? <laughs> when the enemy wants to make you dull, eh? He makes you like totally and totally and completely dull. Like, <laughs> they eat the inhabitants of the land. But you people went there, there were still people in the land. When I enjoy some of the fruit, then the milk and the honey, when I stick a back and say, eh, hey, it is so no go fit. It is well. One man said, um, he will not say, I cannot do it. He would say, I will be able to do it. Something like that. Then he'll go and study it and come back. That he, he's not used to saying, I cannot do it. I cannot do. He says, I, he says he does not say, I cannot do it. Because he knows that if they are giving him that opportunity, it means that God knows he can do it. So he would say that, he said something. I don't know the word that he used. Then he'll go and study it. And when he comes back, nobody will come and ask him that, did you go and study it but now or after? They want to see you deliver. He will deliver. He would deliver. <laughs> hey, my God. I remember one of my friends also came here on the chapter a day one time, and he was saying that they gave them a very challenging task. So he, from the average, averagely, to do that task, it takes about two hours or one hour, 30 minutes thereabout. So he was so worried that he just turned and said, Lord, you have to help me on this one because I don't know what to do. Like, it looks so tasky. I'm not even sure I'm going to finish it in two hours. And he said, the only three just gave me some small, small techniques. Boom, 30 minutes, if you need your own. All my shock. 
<laughs> They'll be looking at you. They're not going to understand. But he knows where he's coming from. He knows what happened. He knows that Jehovah was involved in the matter. That's what God can do for you. You only need to carry, you only need to go along with him. You need to go along with him. Sometimes we want to go along by ourselves. We want to go by ourselves. And then we'll go and get stuck now. That's when I'll start looking for God. We'll start finding for people we don't keep it. They say we don't keep it for junction. They would work at the go inside road, inside road. They would don't go stuck now for some place. We'll start finding back now. Come on, go back for junction before go. Carry God along on all the things you want to do. Sometimes it will be I don't so even know how to. I don't even know how to talk about them. I've written books, but I've not said everything. You know. I know. So I'm just like, <laughs> let me let me just stay in awe. You know, sometimes I'm just smiling. I'm just yes, guys. You know what you got? Get me Mr. Max's book too. These books are like her practical reality, and you can so relate. I mean, it's so relatable. But sometimes when I'm reading her books, I'm just like, oh, Clint, uh, see you, see you, know, now so now you did so clearly. Now you did so prima and prop. I see. I'm just like, Papa, mercy, oh, mercy upon my life. Papa, sorry again. Again, I've done it again. I think you see yourself because it's so relatable. Like in ministers. No, be that in the way you just sit on fiction, some man don't rise on kind in the way don't jump up with this. Is, you you see yourself, you can you can be in the book. That's the way I can put it. You can be in the book because you know that these are things that happen. These are things that you you've you've experienced. And please as you, you know. talk about you, you you started by saying writing is not really your thing. You know, I did not study writing anywhere. I did not go to any literary club. I did not I I, I studied wow. law. I did literature in high school, but you know, not everybody who does literature knows how to write. So it's not yeah. like I, I attended any course. I did not search nothing online. In short, nobody even helped me to write any of my books. No editor, wow. no nobody. Mm -hmm. It is well this girl right yeah, here. So, so 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 God God works. Look, yeah, that, that your inter international uncle on his Facebook thing, it is written that, that the Bible works if you believe in it, or the word works if you believe in it, something oh, yeah, like that. that. That's true. Yeah. That's if true. you believe in it, that's good. True. If you call his if name, you he will show up for you. You don't call you hmm? he will not. He will not show up. That's the thing. That's how God made it. He made it like that. For for the spirit beings to work here on earth, we need to usher them in. So you're either ushering God, you're either ushering his angels, or you're ushering agents of darkness, and you're ushering the devil. It's up to you. It's up to you. you. They and that's all what, cannot that's function. What even your friend David God. did. Hmm. Yes. Even though it's God. So he always calls on God. He always tells God his things. He's always carrying God along on anything that he wants to do. Any hmm. single thing at all. The, the only time that he did not carry God who saw he messed up. Hmm. Oh yeah, the only times he did not carry God along, he did not ask God whether he should go and take Bathsheba. That, that was David. That every single thing he wanted to do, he was asking God. But we go this the time where you know, ask God. We we'll see the one that's where you know. <laughs> he did not ask God on Bathsheba's case. That's what happened. He did not ask God on Uriah's case. That's what happened. So when you have this relationship with God, you're carrying God along. He will save you a lot of while. But some of us say, eh? read Bible no, gang. Shall not read. Pray no, gang. Have a relationship with God, connect with God, gang. But you want to be getting the things that people who are doing these things are getting. It ain't work so. It ain't work so. You know, go for fit someone, forget someone. You will do the work that needs to be done to get what you want to get. <laughs> they, but they got not the land in possession by their own sword. It was not their power, it was, it was not their strength. If not, they, hmm, the giants would have dealt with them. It would show them pepe. There was even one place that they passed and they dealt with them. When they had started going astray and they were just murmuring and grumbling, they went to this land and they wanted to pass through. The man they refused that they were not passing through. They dealt with them. They wanted to pass by force by force. They dealt with them. Then after that, they cried out to God. After they now cried out to God, then God came and now dealt with the people for them. It was always God. It was always God. Not ever reach some place one take God the glory. You. Hey, you go chop grass like Nebuchadnezzar. No try yeah, and go shock you. 
interview. Very careful. Oh. Man, I'll pray. Man, I'll pray. Oh. Okay. I'm telling you. No, that's what happens now. When you want to, like, it's like you want to tempt God or you want to push God to the, to the, to the wall. Put him to the people. test. I'm mm. telling you. Ignore no. him and all of that. Take him for granted. All those mm. things. You want to take him for granted. You want to take things into your hand. He go show you to a university. Ha. Princess, and, and, and in my case, eh, because you have put your hand on the plow, don't joke with me. Because yeah. if it's something serious, you want to serve me. Are you in my camp? Are you on my side? Be on my side. Respect no, yourself. Be obedient. Be this. Be that. Be that. If not, get out. But don't do like that. If you do I like know. that, I'll teach you a lesson. I go so I mean yeah God I accept my lesson I learn as much as his love is just so mm -hmm. when it's time for justice he will be just though mm -hmm. he not, he's not called adultery a different thing because David a man after his heart collected it oh, committed mm -hmm. it he was duly sanctioned he suffered the consequences mm -hmm. of that act of adultery even though he was a man after God's heart mm -hmm. so don't think that because you're God's favorite baby girl or you're God's favored child. You're the favor of God. You're the epitome. I mean, you're the you're you're favor impersonated. So when you do evil, God no, he will show you. He will so correct you. You go fear no. So God no, God will not bypass his justice and then cover up something that you did. Oh. No. If it's time for his justice to work, he will work. Only that sometimes. He tampers that justice with mercy because he are his own. It's something he could do and hold her. He will do a full swing. You will feel the wrath, the full wrath of God. It happened. It says, Thou, O King of God, command deliverances for Jacob. Only God can deliver people. Only God can save people. Only God can win battles for us. He has won a lot of battles for us already on the cross when he died. But then the, man, the physical manifestations, we have a part to play. And that's why David was always calling on God. David was always asking God what to do. What next? How should I go about this one? You know, Lord, where should I put this? And you know, he was always, always asking God what to do. Do we ask God on the things we want to do? Or just go ahead and do our things like we want to? Hmm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Mr woman of god i didn't learn a sharp sharp sometimes god will so be with you eh, and then you come and be like then why be even doing this in what was i even thinking i said honestly you know <laughs> it is well with us and that's how much god loves us to correct us it's the one that he loves that he chastises and often he will not, not bother often no get my people no money follow you up no money bother about him but you because you're his child you're not an abandoned child or something. So he will correct you. When it's time for correction, he'll correct you. When it's time to pamper, he'll pamper. Princess, you made me to go and start watching the train. At least I've reached the part where he corrected that uh, uh, bio me, uh, bamilu, yeah. or what was the name? <laughs> yeah. When it's time to correct, he will correct. Mm -hmm. He will correct you in love. When it's time to, to pamper you, he will pamper you. You pamper you. You say you went and sat back there. You felt comfort, right? That was the same place. That that I was that just sitting you. there now. Huh? Just that the huh? network was not the best there. So I said, no, let me come and sit here where we will do better. Yeah. That's, that's the place where he, he sanctioned you and then he's giving you comfort in the same place. Mm. That's God for you. Mm. That's God for you. Mm. Says, well, I will not trust in gold. Neither will I trust in swords because they've never saved anybody. I don't know me what mm. you're trusting in. Mm. Our... Sometimes when they say these things like bows and swords, we're thinking physical bows and physical swords. No. The bows and swords could be, maybe it's your brother. Maybe it's your sister. You get bush for that brother. So you're hoping. You want to do a particular thing. Or God has told you a particular thing. You're thinking of that bush for that brother. Okay. I have like three bush fallers. One can, maybe the thing is like one million. One million dollars. Or one point five million dollars. Okay, this bush faller in America can give me like seven hundred thousand, and then this other one can give me like three hundred thousand, and then the other one you don't already map people their pockets for your project. <laughs> God, why you use neutral person? That's what you don't even know. Forgive you the one point five million for your hand. You don't map people there. 
plan their budget for them from their pocket to yours for a project that God is giving. You know, sometimes I'll do these things. It's like we're saying that uh, God is not able to fulfill what he has assigned us to do. Mm -hmm. When we look at it like that, it's really bad. You know, it's re really bad what we do. When we don't think that God who gave us an assignment can duly get us to do, do that assignment. Because that's what you're saying. When you're going to look for the finances or for the resources or for whatever it is from different people, aside from the one who gave you the, the instruction or the one who gave you the project, it is painful. It is like you're saying that that person is not qualified. He gave you this project, but he's not qualified to help you get it done, which is not, not good because that's not God. When he gives you a mission, he provides. And that's how we miss it because god will not be telling you that look this way or stop looking here or do that you're fighting you're like and then sometimes you start getting angry with that relative hey he has money he doesn't want to see not be on my way that program on you some people are in their abroad and people are sending their money from from their country from their hometown don't get this twisted that some people are living large some people are showing you fake life and all those things doesn't mean that they're, they're all well ha there are too many beautiful houses on the road for me to just stand snap for one in front of It doesn't mean that that's where I live. Huh. Mm -hmm. they, some places here, yeah, you see the place is so beautiful, but now just some places, small play where it says a small Accra. And this, you know. So I go and sit down and be eating my Accra. You begin to feel that uh, I'm in one Porsche, five star out there. Don't get, to, don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. Help me. And sometimes, you know, winner. Me, I like me pictures, so I love memories. So I take pictures. I can post a picture after two years that I took two years ago. You, as you just post the picture, so bam. If chop there for day, all month your inbox. Please, can you send me 5K? Urgent 10K. Now chop what I chop two years ago. Now, now, <laughs> now post picture. <laughs> now picture after you, so please. Don't, don't look at some things, even if they are real. If you have no rich, you have no rich. How much competition is it now? I post the one, people in my inbox. I post that one, people in my inbox. Now, picture what we don't do. I don't snap the picture three years ago, four years ago. It's not now. I'm not in that posh place or whatever I was eating then. I beg you, don't be in my inbox. I'll not respond to you. I'm sorry. God, it's serious. So we have to, we have to trust the one who gave us the thing. So this guy says, "No, me, I will not trust in my source and everything. Me, I'll trust in God because our forefathers, the ones who trusted in God, they depended on God. God provided for them. They did not have to go and walk any kind of walk. God was getting the east wind and the whatever wind to blow quails and bring it to them, to blow manna and bring it to them. Then you think that that same God cannot provide now?" In this our generation, that there are even so many technological things that he can do any kind of thing for your sake. The God who said he will give nations for your sake, the God who gave his only begotten son for your sake, you think it's not that he will hold what for you? What do you need? What do you want? But there are some things you need to do to be able to get those things. I, I, um, I was just watching a movie and they said this thing of Tiki first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We are always wanting to swap that thing. We're seeking things. I was the, telling my client that this very afternoon, I told my client exactly the same thing just before coming on live. I told you. them, start first, start first from there. Because me, okay. you're coming to me, and that's where me, I'm starting from. Oh. So please, start, start first from there. The kingdom of God and his righteousness, then the other things will be mm. added. No. no. We receive things. We don't abandon kingdom. When the TNA can now, we say God slow. God knows slow. Now you need to take the due process. Now you need to do all the thing correct. All, all the thing comes with so much luggage and so things low. attached to it. So you know, so stress God, and everything. So right? low. Meanwhile, the gifts of God, they add, they give you good this thing and without sorrow added to it. That's how the gifts of God are. When it's coming from God, sorrow no attached. No. But when you're coming to peace, from God, the sorrow that comes along with it. Mm. Hi. It is well with us, so I mm. beg.
Mm-hmm. Let's, mm-hmm. let's get it right. Let's depend on the right things. Let's let's look to the right place. Oh, because what will miss it? This is a, these are the things that will be happening. You know? He said that will make us also turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil for themselves. Thou has given us like sheep appointed for meat, and has scattered us among the hidden. It's not God that is doing those things. So, when you begin to sin and sin, and you start living in sin, God removes the covering. Now, all that you are, you are free meat for the enemy. He will do any any he wants with you. Mm-hmm. God is not the one doing this thing. Even know they will God, He doesn't know him that one. All He does is just remove His covering. I see move covering so bad you are your own the enemy will do anyhow with you and we know him now ah he doesn't he's waiting for one small hole to open he will so collect you will be shocked he said these are the things that will happen to you when you don't trust in god when you don't depend on god you'll be like these people who have been given to their enemies now to deal with them ha it's like they've thrown them out that make us us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are around about us. Hey, God, Papa God, oh, mercy. That will make us us a byword among the region, a shaking of the head amongst the people. You know how when people they see, they just sorry. That's all man they just do. Where? They just shake it. Where? 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 Just there. Yeah, it means that you're totally and completely finished. <laughs> when people start story so so they shake head they don't even talk it don't reach climax <laughs> it is well may we never get to that place in jesus name you become a laughing stock in that movie oh, yeah. that guy became a laughing stock because he he kept having dreams about different guests being his wife and those sisters were doing holy gossip See? and saying that they wanted to pray for him and talking about how he went to this one did they went yeah. to that one until <laughs> The last wife didn't even know how to talk to her again. He was so scared that she would reject him. She would I think he prayed, he prayed on the tree first before he even had courage to talk. Yeah. He had this become thing. a laughing stock. Yeah. I just saw it and I remember having heard it on one of your shows. How people yeah. say, Holy, they say they want to make prayer point, they make you prayer point, gossip about yeah. you where they say, Holy gossip. Holy gossip. That's how they call Colina, the cute name, the cute name that they give it to is holy gossip. No, but the the nice way that they put it, they're gossiping, you know, but the nice way that they call it is prayer points. We want to pray for sister. We want to pray for brother. That's, that's what know. I saw. Wow. <laughs> Let's just pray for brother this. He's going through this. Brother, this thing, he knows that there is a um, um, intercessory department. He came only to you and came and told you because he knows that you're supposed to pray for you yourself. What is so hard to go to the prayer department and say that hey, let's pray for a certain brother who has this and this and this problem? You more call a name. Yes. You more call a name. Mm-hmm. If you step call a name for your heart, go go yeah. But may the other people know saying that some particular brother, may they pray for the brother. It's as simple as that. But no, because we want to gossip. We want everybody to know. Hey, do you know what's happening to brother this? Let's pray for him. That brother really needs God. Now, like you're gossiping. You're not praying for the you are gossiping. And if you get us, you go hook you for neck. <laughs> I mean, like, it's, it's just so terrible. Thou hast so broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with shadows of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or our, our, or stretched out our hands to strange gods oh yeah because that's what the, the the israelites were doing most times most times how god was dealing with them was because they had stopped serving him and they were serving other gods either at one point in time they are building a molding calf and start praying to it or start singing to it or start dancing to it in our generation no no be molten careful some of your things that you have that gods in your hearts that i did at some point it was my clothes no touch my clothes it's like if you touch my dress you'll kill me today I, which one close down one don't touch my shoes don't touch my this don't touch my that those things small small they don't become out of your heart so when they say 
I don't know, eh, in this our generation, you know, go carve that more carving stick where they used to carve our village gill. May go put out some place or no. Your job could even be your idol. Your mother could be your idol. Your father could be your idol. Ah. Hmm. Even you yourself, you could idolize your own self. You know, yeah. some, some okay. people say that taking care of themselves, you stay on your body for like five hours, you rub all kind I of things there. You behave like you. Well, you, 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 you don't know. No, 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 I never finished. Do I know? Yes, I never finished. So comfortable. My just touch the part. So when they're talking about idols, yeah, don't say, oh, me, I'm not an idolater, because you're not going to small baba to go and collect small statue. We are not going to small baba to go and collect small pots. No, this is generation. Hmm. The idol reach climax. I seen we we'll get idols in our hearts. Only these things are around us. It could be your job. It could be yourself, just like Minister Mark said. It could be a family member. It could be just something. It's not those physical idols that we used to go and collect when we were older, when we were ignorant. And you know, Princess, as he says in verse 21, will God not discover this? For he knows the secrets of the heart. That's what you were saying, I think, yesterday. Who can... Can you deceive God? No. So God. whatever you are doing, even what I do inside this room, now he knows everywhere he knows. He knows. So it's he knows. me. I'm just pulling my own self. You can play with people and deceive people, but you cannot deceive yourself and deceive God. Mm -hmm. ah. Can you? You know what you're going through. You know the things that you are doing. You know what God doesn't want you to do, and you know what He wants you to do. But you're there doing it. You're on your own. No. Hmm. They punish me would duly come you go suffer the consequences <laughs> yeah for thy sake are we killed all day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter <laughs> see uh, david's david's descriptions of the scenarios that they were there this man can write i think you you know how you know how a sheep is going to a slaughter sheep nothing know anything any play they're dragging up a day to go, you know, like that. <laughs> That's you how you're in the hands of the you. enemy. Mm. If he mm. do you any kind thing, mm. Mm. He do you any, he can drag you anywhere. You know, get say, as he just say left, now left, you go. He say right, now right, you go. See, David, eh? That's how you you get to be in the hands of the enemy. He will so, so use you, you. <clears throat> We are going like sheep to the slaughter. As they carry me the ghost, and I saw the people who sheep them. We just go to the PM the slaughter. We just go to Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Mm -hmm. All these it's things. Okay. When David always says this thing, he always comes back to the place that he says, "For God's mercy's sake, He will do something," and He always does. He always does. That's how merciful God is. He just wants you to come back with a contrite heart and a broken spirit and say, "Papa, I'm sorry. Lord, I made a mistake." Accept wrong. Accept you're wrong when you make a mistake. You're, you're not weak. You're not cheap to say, yes, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. You're not. See, the other day you are apologizing to... Oh, was it Gabby or David who woke you up? I Gabby, can't even remember Gabby. which of them. Gabby. It was Gabby, right? Mm -hmm. You apologize to him. Did your part of your body come out? Did you <laughs> stop from being his mother? Mm -hmm. No. But some person... Actually, he's a child. What is there? Like, go restitute. You did a mistake to him. You don't tell God, say you're sorry. Go tell God, say you're sorry. Mm. Some of us want to hide under the canopy of, I've already confessed to God. Go confess to the person where you annoy him. Go confess to the person <laughs> where you're rude to. Go restitute. <laughs> oh, yeah, pass. Go restitute. Institute. No, 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 we don't want that one. Yeah. How can I come and tell that I gossip your name? How can I come and tell that I just gossip your name? Princess, okay, let me confess. Princess, let me confess. I just gossip your name. I gossip your name. I gossip I gossip your name to hands that uh, when I saw the item 11 picture of the after blood donation drive. I I told, and I blasted him. He laughed at me on T. You people know me very well. No? She will like only that picture. I tell him that if Princess sees this picture, this is the one that she will like. He has not come and told you about that. I saw the picture. What did my office send me? I said, I told him that I would deal with him. That I would do it too. He laughed. 
You go do it. Who's I go to the guy job? But you know, sometimes know. Princess, when you, when you restitute, when you, just like as I've told you like this, I feel fine, and I know that we will laugh about yeah. it, but it 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 it, it liberates you because yeah. sometimes you might do something like this, and even if you think you have confessed to God, when you see the person, or even if you talk to the person, the you person has no you. idea, but you keep feeling bad, you know. Yeah. And especially yeah. when God tells you to go, that one I is another you. conviction level. Yeah. You know, do I'm, your spirit will be grieved, Auntie. You will be so restless until no, you do it. Except you are not really saved, or except you've started leaving you in sin con consistently, mm -hmm. so the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is not there because He says He will not strive with man, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you are still having the Spirit of God in you, the Holy Spirit convicts you will be restless until you do what He tells you to do. That's what I experience. That's what I experience. If the Holy Spirit tells me to do something, I've not done it, I cannot wrestle. Mm -hmm. it goes let say some person to me. If they say that they be beating me or some kind of thing, I'll just be feeling uncomfortable until I do the thing. Princess, have you seen where money enters your account? That same exact amount has to go out. I showed you yesterday, no. I, and he had told me no. he sent me there on Sunday to go and hear the matter. The exact amount was 51. 51 entered my account yesterday. He was just like. I see, just send them. The same. Pai, Pai, send the money before something to you. When I'm you telling you, if you've not that understood the words and the direction of God, no, I you, say, Papa, you it's your money. I'm you gave me the same. Like, I use it to work. So when the money enters, if you say do so, I do so. And then he told me yesterday, I sent you the year because I wanted you to be paying rent for other people. That is what God told me yesterday. You now understand why I, if I tell you how much rent I have paid for people between January and now, I now understand. I'm telling you, because you will not want you to be bothering about your own before bothering about the next person. Now. Because mm -hmm. that time, when you're bothering about your own, he tells you to do the next person. You know, easy. It won't be easier as you now have a roof over your head so I can be doing people's own confidently. So you see, there are some things that God will do to us as at the time he's doing, it makes no sense. But when he puts you in the place and then you start doing it, it mm -hmm. all comes out clearly. It comes out clearly. It makes and sense then, to you that you and cannot be struggling and thinking and worrying about your own now, and then thinking of people's own. And he is making the provision now in big ways, pieces. Like, the, what I've, I've, been, I've been spending for other people is like three times what I was paying for myself. Can so, in short, he it. just... In short, God is just embarrassing me. God is just, just that's doing what anyhow. Does. That's that's God's job yeah. to embarrass us, to do nah, no more and think out for imagine. Nah, 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 what, nah, 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 nah. what is the little secret? Yielding, mm. obeying. Mm. You think that when you do all these things like that, He will leave you? Mm -mm. No. I, Can you outdo God? No. no. He will I shock cannot. you. He will shock you. So when He tells you. you so that one, when you don't sow the seed, now seed you sow now. It is a seed that you sow. Have you ever sown something and harvested the same size? Mm -hmm. No. Anything that falls to the ground and dies, it produces much, much more. God. So when God says, yeah, my sister, yeah, more. now the level that way God will take you there because he's going to do bigger things with you. Ha. Amen. Sister, Amen. Yeah, able. The grace of God is sufficient for you. Amen. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is where we're wrapping up with a chapter. I no, please, you have not read chapter two, uh, verse twenty-five and twenty-six. So. I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, then it's chapter twenty-three. I didn't even read chapter twenty-three. No, I think best, it, best. I ended at twenty-two. Sheep for the salter. Yeah. Awake, yes. why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. We have said this time without number that there are times that you feel like God is not with you. You mm -hmm. feel like God has abandoned you or he has forsaken you. David felt like this several times. And so mm -hmm. he was calling on God to show up. Wherefore, mm -hmm. hidest thou thy face and forgettest our afflictions and our oppression. <laughs> yes, sometimes it feels like that. Mm -hmm. It really feels like God is just looking at you and not doing anything. But he might be preparing 
sharing something on center stage or on backstage like we we had that nice experience that's why you call it oh, that yeah. that's how we call it yeah. Yeah. i went through them myself you know mm. it's working on you and please no 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 <laughs> Ah, we had an experience is not a funny one, but when you come out um the Holy Spirit ministered something to, to me today and he was saying after we were for a certain prayers, we we're doing a certain prayer somewhere and then he ministered to me and he said Jesus for 30 years he was going through a process and when he was done he did his 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness It took three and a half years to do things that people will never, never, ever wow. be able to achieve in their lives. That is how it is better to sit for ten years, eh, and hear God on one instruction. That instruction will make you a uh, cover up twenty years using just that one instruction, rather than running for those ten years and doing everything and anything that God didn't send you, eh. Wait in the presence of God for that ten years. Get the instruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus needed for all his thirty-three and a half years. He needed just forty days and forty nights to get the instructions of the things he needed to do. He used three years a eh, shaking the whole world. Mm -hmm. Then go in. That's how much God can do to you. So sometimes when you're sitting in this place and saying, "Hey Lord, wake up! Oh, you don't forget me." Why? Why are you leaving me in this oppression? Why are you leaving me in this affliction? Nothing I do. It will prepare you for you do for a short time. May you do. May you shake this world. But before you and also preparing the, world, the people the that will help you. Yeah. Also preparing yeah. the people that will help yeah. you. Because yeah. princess, if I had started this project in 2020, I would not have had the kind of help I'm having now because there was pandemic oh. and and everybody was doing their own thing. It was crazy. You make you get yes. frustrated. Mm -hmm. You make you get. I mean, mm -hmm. you be in a place that he doesn't want you to be. He wants you to give people uh, a, a, an understanding of peace, an mm -hmm. understanding of serenity. Then you say you don't mm -hmm. get the serenity. Yeah, yeah, I was not even in that place at that time. Yes, yeah. I was also just as anxious. Be, That's true. Anxious, you be feeling agitated. How then mm -hmm. can you give to people? How then can you tell the people that this is what I'm about to do and mm -hmm. this is what God really wants? With you not even having an, a feel of it or an experience of it, sometimes we just want to rush, and we're forgetting that God is God. He knows everything. It says, "For our soul is bowed down to the dust; our belly cleaveth under the earth." This stuff is serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. This yeah, is very serious. Please, we have to be that contrite now. We have to be that contrite. We oh, have yeah. to be that honest. Oh, yeah. And, and you if you honest. don't provoke, as you used to say, say, Papa, don't provoke. Be don't honest. Provoke. Do one hold me. Papa, God, do one hold me. I don't lie you. Yeah, you know, say my oh. heart, you know, it depends me. Oh. <laughs> me, I always tell me, God, though, it's straightforward. It's up and straight. Yeah. And <laughs> you never learn the lesson. Regardless, you go learn the lesson. They ask God now. So, Lord, what do you want me to learn? Lord, what attitude are you taking out of me? Lord, what attitude do you want me to build? You know, and then he starts okay, okay. just telling you, and then boom. Lord, comfort me. Lord, comfort me comfort now. Comfort me. You know, he does. The child keeps going. Hey, princess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He does. As I finish with you, I'll go back to that chair. I know. Chair will be the runner. Now you just now. He says, "Arise for our help." Redeem us for thy mercy's sake. It's always mercy. God is always merciful. His mercy always says no. Mercy will not let us go. And it endures Man. forever. No, I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you sleep away. You don't have to be afraid. Mercy said no. They will never. They control life and death to face to face. Darkness tried to sleep my heart away. Thank you, Jesus. Mercy said no. Mercy is always saying no. It's not just now. It's ever, forever. Mercy is always saying no. So, child of God, look to God. We need to get to that place where we know that. Eh, Last, last. Now only God will save you. We don't have anywhere else to go. God has got 
Okay, this ones are gone. This ones are gone. You and you and you, Nane, go. Ah, ah. Okay, I have a lot of go, a lot of go, a lot of Like, like, where do you want us to go to? Like, and so calmly, calmly, they continue following Jesus. Would you follow Jesus? Jesus is the way they should have. Like, I mean, it's the author and finisher of your faith. God does not begin a thing that he does not take it to finish you. When he starts, he always finishes. When God starts, he always finishes. So trust him. Learn to trust him. He knows the end from the beginning. He is the beginning and the end, self. So don't you think that's the perfect person to trust? Someone who knows the end from the beginning. He redeems and restores in grand style, princess. Yeah. This, this, this is me now, princess. This is me. Uh, no, princess. No, I mean, no, no, no. It's, no. It's life. It's not, it's not, we're not talking story from, you know, like we heard this story from somewhere. Life and direct. It's here. God redeems. He restores. He's a restorer. He's he, a redeemer. He, 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 he takes you to a level where even the people who were mocking now, they cannot even open their mouth again. I said that they should not quiet. If I tell you that someone who burnt my things, now they cannot even, they, they talk to me with politeness. They, they, in short, they tell they me that please move. just understand. I say, oh, what what somebody say, hey, so that you can be polite. I say, I don't even have their time, I said, well, oh, oh. We're not at that level. God bless nah, nah, every person nah, still. Nah, they can't nah, let. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they can't let. I, I don't God think anybody can me. ever touch me again. Just the way I am now. Now you know that you cannot touch this body. You cannot slap. You cannot touch. Yes. Only God, God can do that, right? We only had to yield to Him. We had to trust Him. We had to depend on Him. Mm -hmm. When you say they are all in all that. Like, there's no way you can go to. There's no one else who can help you. If God is not helping you, there's no way. Moses said, God, if you need to go with you, we need to come off a year. We don't pin for a year. Now, yeah, we If you're not going with us, we're not leaving this place. God said, okay, my picture, I don't hear. More carry, more carry go. That's how Moses moved with the children of Israel. You think it's easy? It's not easy to do God's projects, to do God's work. It's not easy. But if you make up your your mind and you say god you are going with me on this one he will go with you he will go with you and he will surprise you so trust god depend princess. on god rely princess. on god yes princess. so woman of god i'm getting very emotional i want to go but the last thing i want to say is that uh in 2017 i wrote a prayer for my businesses I did not know oh, yeah. that I was going to be where I am today, 2023. So somebody should please be inspired and encouraged. It's not good joke. link, or woman of God. Prayer yeah, works. You, you wrote it on your, on, on your distance, but the link was not there. No, I wrote a prayer. I wrote a prayer. The prayer is there on my blackboard, on my cupboard. No, princess, let me just go, mama. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. I post the thing and send us link. Oh, we want to also pray the prayer. It go work too for me. No, just, just a picture. I'll send it to you. You can share it later. Yeah. When, when the whole idea is encouraging people to oh, also yeah. prophesy upon themselves, make those declarations as you say. You know, we'll go put out there. because Our and the Lord will surprise there. you. Like what you even pray for, He will do double. So more just, than what just, you ask. Just, just be steadfast. Just be steadfast. Just be consistent. Amen. No live up. No live up. Even if distractions Amen. come, small frustration, all those things, get up and continue. Because I Amen. started in 2013, gradually, gradually, I kept fooling around. But when I completely surrendered November 2021, my life has been just like that. No joke. Even Up small you. setback, I just give it to him. And he just does what he does Lord, with it. I handed it over to you. That's God for you. So my, today, hey, Mama, guys, I'll, I'll pray with you in my background. I cannot pray. Oh, I'm yeah. emotional. I don't want to cry. <laughs> bye bye. You don't want to cry. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you, woman of God. Today, we're praying that all the children of God all over the world should be able to yield and totally depend on God. Because when we totally yield to God and depend on Him, He will do amazing. He will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can even ask, 
think or imagine. So let's pray that God will give us the grace to yield to him, to totally depend and trust in him. Let's just pray. Father, we come before your throne of grace today, O oh God. We thank you for another amazing session. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to help us, your children, all over the world, O oh God, to be able to be totally submitted and yielded to you, O oh God. Because when we yield to the Spirit of God, he will guide and lead us into all truths, O oh God. Father, I pray that you're going to help your children, O oh God, that we all are going to be totally and completely dependent on you, O oh God. We would yield to the beating of the Spirit of God. Because where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty where the spirit of god is there is enlightenment where the spirit of god is there is direction where the spirit of god is there is prosperity where the spirit of god is there is power where the spirit of god is there is direction lord i pray oh god that you're going to help us to be yielded to the spirit of god because we as children of god who are born again and have accepted you as our personal lord and savior we have the spirit of god that you sent as a comforter to guide us to teach us to lead us Father, help us to be totally and completely yielded to you. Help us to be totally and completely yielded to the Spirit of God. Help us to be totally and completely yielded, oh God. Because it's in our yieldedness and our dependence on you, oh God, that you show yourself faithful. Lord, come through for us. Help us to depend on you totally and completely, not partially. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you're going to do awesome and marvelous, oh God, for your people. That you do way beyond what we can even think, ask, or imagine. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you're going to help us to be totally and completely yielded to you, oh God. That we'll be totally and completely trust you. We'll totally and completely depend on you. Because in depending on you, there is prosperity. There is direction. There is guidance. There is liberty. There is salvation, oh God. There is every good thing we can think of. So, Lord, help us to be totally and completely yielded to you. Help us to be totally and completely dependent on you. Help us to totally and completely trust you, oh God. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to lead us, to teach us, to guide us, to comfort us, to enlighten us, oh God. We are forever grateful. Take all the glory, but now forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a ginormous amen. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live like we are right now. Of course, tomorrow is going to be Psalm 45. Study hard, study right. And let's come back here tomorrow by the grace of God and get to study again together. It has been an awesome time with you all. I'm forever grateful that you decided to give me a part of your life like this. We all have 24 hours of life. Giving me like 10 minutes of your life, giving me like 20 minutes, one hour, two hours of your life is a really, really honorable thing. And I don't take it for granted. So thank you all so, so very much. Father, we thank you for another amazing session that we've had today. We pray, oh God, that your word is going to be engrafted on the fleshy tables of our hearts. Help us to be the ones that would yield and depend on you totally and completely so that our lives will never be the same again. Help us to be able to wait when it's time to wait and help us to be able to move when it's time to move. Give us all that it takes to be able to do your will now and forever. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. Until tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Get to listen to the audio Bible. We have it on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Yes. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You want to grow in faith? Study the word. Ciao. Yes, a very big, loud amen. <laughs>